What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay in the building. We is back again with another video. All right, so the NFL draft was completed yesterday. And let me just say this first, first and foremost. I want to say congratulations to each and every player that got drafted. I know their lives has changed. I know it's about to be a whole, they're about to enter a whole new tax bracket. <laughs> like, it's... It, I know, I know they are going absolutely crazy right now. And before I get to, you know, what we're going to talk about, I do want to say this, that my New England Patriots, because I am a Patriots fan, we had ourselves a decent draft. I really like that Christian uh, Gonzalez kid out of Oregon. Uh, we had a few other players. Uh, that wide receiver from Liberty, uh, DeMario, I like him a lot. I like him a lot. And... Of course, hold on. You know what? Yeah, let's get right into it. The only HBCU player to get drafted, Isaiah Bolden, is heading is heading to the New England Patriots. And look, look, let me tell you this. When I saw this, I said, wait, what? I said, yo, now I'm like, yo, that is absolutely crazy. So, Patriot Nation, listen to me. Listen to me. I've been watching Isaiah Bolden for the last two years. Now, and let me tell you something. His kickoff return skills, ma matter of fact, his kickoff return skills is the reason he got drafted. He and and he's a really really good good cornerback as well. So, Patriot Nation, y'all are get we are getting ourselves a six two long corner that can run like a deer. You know what I'm saying? When he had he had himself a really really good pro day. When, uh, whenever they came to Jackson State. So, when I saw his numbers at his pro day, I said, oh, he getting picked up. He meant, I don't know if he's going to get drafted, but he is going to get picked up. But I'm going to be honest with you. I really didn't have Isaiah Bolden in my top five HBCU players to get drafted. I did have him in the top ten. So, when I saw that he was the only HBCU player to get drafted, it kind of shocked me. I'm not going to lie to you. Because if anybody that I believed was going to get picked up first, it was, be, it was either R.B. Miller or Isaiah Land. And they did this to me last year. I had Marquise Bell being the first HBCU player to get drafted, and he ended up not getting drafted at all. He still ended up going to the Cowboys. Ironic, Isaiah Land is going to the Cowboys as well. But we're going to get to that. So I do want to uh, name off the list of all of the HBCU players that are heading to their respective teams. So we're going to just run it down the list. So first off, Isaiah Bolden got drafted in the seventh round by my New England Patriots. So, uh, congrats to him. Um, now for the undrafted free agent signings, Isaiah Land is – is heading to the Cowboys. Aubrey Miller is heading to the Dolphins. Uh, Shaq Davis, the wide receiver from South Carolina State, is heading to the New Orleans Saints. Mark Evans, the second offensive lineman from from uh, Pine Bluff, he's also heading to New Orleans. Emmanuel Wilson, running back out of Fort Valley State, he's heading to the Broncos. Dallas Daniels, wide receiver out of Jackson State, is also headed to the Broncos. Deshaun Warren, a.k.a. Nugget, cornerback out of Jackson State, is heading to Chicago. Joshua Pryor, defensive lineman out of uh, out of Bowie State, is heading to Washington Commodores. Kenan Isaac, defensive back out of Alabama State, is heading to Tampa Bay. Jedekis Barnes, wide receiver out of Hampton, is heading to the 49ers. Xavier Smith, Wide receiver out of FAMU is heading to L.A. to play for them Rams. Uh, let me see my other list. Let me see. Run it down. I want to make sure I get everybody. Uh, Ricky Lee, offensive lineman out of North Carolina A&T, is heading to Carolina to play with the Panthers. Um, Cameron Peterson, defensive end out of Southern, is heading to Baltimore. Um, 
Claudio, uh, um, Clayton, uh, Clayton Chalice, linebacker out of Alcorn, is heading to the New York Jets. And I believe the last one is Andrew Farmer, the, the edge rusher out of Lane College, is heading to L.A. Chargers. Let me see if, if that was everybody. Oh, and running back Darius Haggins out of Virginia State is heading to the Indianapolis Colts. I believe has everybody. But, yeah, I just want to say congrats to every each and everybody that – that got uh got picked up. I do want to say, man, like I'm still shocked about the amount of HBCU players that. Well, I'm su- I'm I'm surprised that Albie Miller not getting drafted because he was my number one. But let me say this, and I know a lot of people are up in arms of the lack of you know HBCU players that get drafted. Let me say this, it's hard. Fam, it is hard just to get, just to put yourself in a position to get drafted. And when you have lack of funding, when you have lack of resources, when you, that means you're going to have lack of attention a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't, but yo, it's less than two, less than 300 spots in terms of guys getting drafted. It's less than 300 uh, spots. You got, like, over 1,000 schools in the country. And, do you, you know, fam, you, do you know how many players are are waiting for the opportunity to play in the NFL? You have huh, you have the uh, Euro League. You have the league in Canada. Now you have, like, you have two spring football leagues. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there are just so many people that are trying to get in the NFL. It is hard, dog. It is hard. So, I can't even be upset about the lack of HBCU players getting drafted because they already have a tough time getting the attention, getting enough people to watch their games. So, I know a lot of these guys who got who got picked up they probably don't even know who they are. They probably never seen them play a down in their four years of playing college football. Never seen a down from them. You know what I'm saying? So I can only imagine, you know, the the lack of of attention that they got. But now they gonna they've entered a whole new tax bracket. They entered a whole new audience. You know, so they are about to have guys watch them that never see them play. So they gonna have no choice but to impress. They had no choice but to impress. So like I said, I'm excited to see, you know, to see what's gonna happen. You know, I can't wait. Especially look, especially Isaiah Bowden heading headed to my New England Patriots. I just wanna say shout out to him. Shout out to the Patriot, you know, to Patriot Nation. Y'all did a, a damn good job on your draft. Uh, once again, y'all, y'all had a real good draft this year. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for all the players that got drafted or, you know, got signed to their free agent deals. So we're going to see what happens, man. So I know, look, y'all changed y'all lives for the better, man. I Look, I know it. I believe in y'all. I support y'all. Congrats to y'all, man. Now, we are going to get to a few highlights to the guys that I'm sure that they never seen play. So I'm going to make sure we're going to bring these guys to life. All right? So um, I just want to say once again, man, shout out to all the players that, that got drafted, all the players that are heading to their respective team. And look, you could become a millionaire even while being an, un- <laughs> an undrafted free agent. So, work hard and get your money, dog. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. Get your money. 